हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज योगेश जोशी फ्रॉम इंडियन केमिकल न्यूज एंड वी हैव विद अस टुडे मिस्टर कृष्ण कुमार पोदार यस एंड मिस्टर रेवन राउत यू बोथ आर डायरेक्टर्स इन अ कंपनी कॉल्ड आरकेम सिस्टम्स व्हिच इज अ इंडिया बेस्ड कंपनी सो कैन यू सर ब्रीफ अस अ लिटिल बिट अबाउट व्हाट योर व्हाट योर कंपनी इज ऑल अबाउट हेलो हाय दिस इज कृष्ण कुमार पोदार we founded arkem systems private limited uh, 27 march of 2017 we in arkem do the turnkey systems for extraction evaporation distillation drying and mixing uh, systems okay within that all kinds of unit operation we cover in a single loop we have our manufacturing unit at chakan pune mm-hmm. we have our r&d center uh, located in satara district lonam okay and we have in conventional innovative technologies with us mm-hmm. yeah okay and we proven uh, with a uh, listed companies like lupin limited zydas cadilla bdr mm-hmm. pharmaceuticals rakem mm-hmm. medicare mm-hmm. these are our uh, prime uh, customers okay. we have with us okay yeah. so uh, i guess pharma seems to be a larger segment where your yes. uh, yes. all the company that With, you just so mentioned pharma recently we are uh, dealing in nutraceutical herbal extraction mm-hmm. phytochemical industries okay yeah. and how about chemical speci- yeah, chemical specialty also we deal with the various My sectors ha huh. when we talk about the chemicals mm-hmm. we deal with the various sectors for the solvent extraction mm-hmm. attached with the solvent recovery systems okay where to improve the in chemical sector operating cost mm-hmm. to reduce the operating cost and improve the profit ratios okay we suggest to go with the solvent recovery systems for okay. various plants okay and various specialty chemicals i see yeah okay and you also mentioned about the manufacturing setup that you have um, in uh, pune yes yes, yes. Uh, and also touched up on a little bit on the r&d side of it yes. so yes. since you are uh, you know uh, graduated uh, from chemical, chemical engineering background yes. like what made you you know jump into this uh, game of a startup and oh getting into this segment yeah actually uh, we we are the we can say as a friends from the family friendships okay. we have a background of family relations mm-hmm. that our uh, both of our fathers are friends mm-hmm. they work together mm-hmm. in the government sectors and mm-hmm. then we both also learn together in a chemical engineering okay degree okay. so we graduated together i see Uh, then after graduation we work separately for different sectors okay as i worked for the epc companies contracts mm-hmm, mm-hmm. other projects based companies uh-huh. we also worked on the project based companies then later i worked for some production companies also like a pd light and all okay so by gathering all these experience mm. we come to know that yes we can deal with such kind, mm-hmm. kind of kind of systems mm. and It's the ultimate process. aim of okay. both of us is from initial stage we want mm. to go for the establishment of our own firms okay to give self, something to the society i see with the knowledge what we have okay so then we decided to move on to set up a company mm. with a registered as a private limited firm mm-hmm. then we parallelly started design engineering manufacturing say, mm-hmm. for our own manufacturing facilities okay and apart from this there is a basic need of this industry is development of new technology and new products okay so then we thought to come with the own r&d setup where okay. we develop new technologies new mm-hmm. processes mm-hmm. in all the aspects uh, capex as okay. well as the operating cost okay so these all things we gathered together and now we have own uh, manufacturing as well as the r&d okay. where we deal with the complete process solutions mm-hmm. for every customer and I see. each sector uh, in terms of exports uh, how are you placed like are you uh, almost last year we had covered uh, greece in europe and saudi in gulf nation uh, mm. in comp- comparing to economies 45% share we okay. taken last year I see. this year we have some uh, process mm. uh, export orders but mm-hmm. all are in uh, discussions i process. see i For see like russia sri lanka mm-hmm. and singapore also we have on some inquiry but uh, okay. still they are in uh, discussions okay. Okay. also by this uh, july or august we will grab it i see yeah. interesting and in terms of the distribution strategy how do you go about like how do you reach out to your target audience target customers uh, is there a partner based model or is there a channel partner based model or you go direct selling the customers how is it like uh, 
basically as uh, we are marketing uh, this company as a private limited firm mm -hmm. and with particular specifications or mm -hmm. the sectors where we deal mm -hmm. we directly approach to our own customers mm -hmm. who are direct end users for our products okay where we provide complete end to end solution for every section mm -hmm. and most of the time what happens every customer who look after for such kind of uh, investment mm -hmm. is either a first generation or a expansion which I is see. already established mm -hmm. so there we have to uh, serve or assist them starts mm -hmm. from the concept level mm -hmm. up to the construction okay so most of the time these things happens from direct end to end uh, communication okay so as such we don't use any uh, communicator or any mm -hmm. uh, regional people for that so okay. we directly approach individuals and individual companies mm -hmm. to come with the new tech process or new technologies because mm -hmm. we as we discuss right now that we have our own r&d mm -hmm. we are developing almost more than 250 products in our r&d mm -hmm. which are related to your pharmaceutical mm -hmm. nutraceutical and cosmetic industry okay and for the, those sectors we are coming up with the different products as well as the process technology okay so we are direct approaching the investors who are coming as a new generation mm -hmm. and the second generation who is already established in another sectors i see so they want to divert their business in the new segments okay which is now booming okay yeah obviously definitely yeah so we are registered with some b2b portals online like okay in demand and we have our okay. own website also okay uh, through that we receive some inquiry and i see and their shares you can take it as 25% to 30% share in okay. developing for our business quite interesting that you are using these digital platforms yeah, yeah. to yeah. you know and now reach out is, to your uh, since we are in 6th year of our company now hmm. we are keeping a particular regional heads I we see. are in process to keep regional heads. a dedicated uh, region yeah. Uh, yeah. pan india kind of uh, language and or a global things. kind of yes. partnership i see so sir uh, when it comes to uh, distribution i believe uh, the government of india is also trying yes. to you know help uh, you know provide a platform to indian companies manufacturers especially Definitely. to you know uh, help expand their business within india and outside india as well the schemes like make in india atmanirbhar bharat so where do you start up india for that matter so where do you uh, see your organization you know leveraging these platforms in the long run if you talk about Actually, to be honest, we have not taken any kind of benefit. Uh, still, these uh, okay. facilities are n never come to us. Mm -hmm. But like this uh, taxation due to GST is so quite easy. Mm -hmm. And for uh, while exporting, mm -hmm. we have some forwarders with us. Okay. So they have the uh, lot much schemes. They give the indirect benefit to us. Okay. So this startup and this all make in India indirectly mm -hmm. helping us okay. in all our processes for I export see. special. I'm sure that yeah. uh, going forward, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and basically, the most important thing is GST, which uh, uh -huh. uh, this VAT, service tax, this all now removed, and mm -hmm. only one thing, one nation, one tax is there. So that okay. is very much beneficial for us. Quite interesting. So uh, going forward, you are are you also planning to uh, you know. Uh, Target other industry segments like nutraceuticals. You talked about. You talked about cosmetics. Yes. Are there any other emerging segments for a market like India where your product would be uh, going? Yes, yes. There are uh, one more industry is coming as a, as a specialty chemicals, mm -hmm. where uh, nowadays uh, attached to this pharmaceutical nutraceutical industry, mm -hmm. there is a huge consumption of solvents, mm -hmm. which is required for uh, these all processes. Mm -hmm. And for that solvents, we are now going mm -hmm. up with the setup of a few more plants. Mm -hmm. In fact, we are discussing with few more customers to set up a new plant to assist these sectors, okay. which comes under specialty chemicals. Okay. And with the specialty chemicals, also we deal. With for mm -hmm. the fertilizer industry okay where we already uh, have proven that we have supplied a dye calcium phosphate plant mm -hmm. as a turnkey basis to the saudi gulf nation i see so that is another sector which is a fertilizer sector mm -hmm. where we are dealing with starts from the process up to the uh, manufacturing facilities okay so these are two different sectors other than the this pharmaceutical and nutraceutical sectors i see where we are now uh, taking a part great wonderful um in terms of uh, expansion growth you know uh, where do we see your organization you know down the line let's say 5 years from now since you have already completed 6 years yes yes so <laughs> in next 5 years where what are your aspirations what your 
what is your vision to be you know in the industry yes yes if you can uh, share that to become a basically uh, largest exporters for okay. some nutraceutical and this we have some technologies mm -hmm. we want to make them us piece okay. and do the largest uh, export of those things i see and with that we are looking for coming decade we will be indian mnc at least okay yeah. quite interesting very interesting very ambitious uh, yeah yeah uh, and we have our r and d and those uh, things mm -hmm. on which basis we can prove ourselves on hard so why only export then why not in uh, domestic See, domestic is a not, we are not going to stop domestic while doing export export mm -hmm. why i am saying that india should be highlighted as mm -hmm. a technology center i see okay from a, that a uh, yes. because you have a technological yes. advantage nowadays uh, germany uh, japan says they uh -huh. are technology center mm -hmm. so india should have their identification like technology seller quite interesting yeah. wonderful sir one last question sir this is for the startup community since you uh, belong to this um, you know vibrant ecosystem of startups what is what would be your two cent of advice to you know uh, the ones who are still studying chemical engineering or who have just passed or are about to you know or already searching as to how should what should uh, how should they go about let's say if they want to take a plunge in this kind of a manufacturing kind of a startup ecosystem what would you advise to these <laughs> young generation to uh, keep trying okay yeah Okay. Um, uh, any kind of failure, yeah, or uh, many times failure, hmm. they should not stop at okay. any stage. Okay. Yeah. Because those failures are the steps to uh, great uh, success. Okay. And how so, about you, sir? What's your yeah. take on this? Uh, uh, I can say that suppose if anybody wish to go for some professional qualification, hmm. that person or that individual should be clear what he wants to do in his future. okay because we cannot say that the job is or professional life is only the job mm -hmm. or only is a business mm -hmm. both things are equal both things are qualified have their own uh... but the thing is that they should have clear what they want to do in their life mm -hmm. and considering that goals they have prepared by themselves mm -hmm. instead of waiting to say somebody or to have some guidance from anybody else okay because nowadays everything is possible to have on social media right If you search on the Google, you will get anything at any time. Correct. So instead of waiting for somebody to tell, mm -hmm. be focused on what you want to do in your life, mm. and just target that and approach mm. in such a way that you are able to get those goals in your stipulated time. Okay. That's yeah. very interesting. Very very big piece of advice, yes. I believe, uh, for the young generation who are watching or would be watching this yes, interview. Yes. Thank you. Thank uh, you. In their. educational journey or professional yeah, journey yeah. and a last leading question uh, related to again the startup uh, community in the sense when you go to meet the customers let's say mm -hmm. or your potential uh, clients mm -hmm. uh, being a you know uh, passed out engineering passed out mm -hmm. i'm sure you must be beating uh, a similar profile uh, passed out passed out uh, across the yeah. table also yes so yes. how do they take you as a startup you know do they uh, have a soft corner extra soft corner for companies yeah. like you wherein they think that okay we should support this kind of a startup yes. since yes. they are uh, yeah. also <coughs> of the same educational background mm -hmm. and running their own setups so do yes. they get motivated or do they support you absolutely the uh, main ah. thing what happen is uh, definitely they help us a lot mm. of time Okay. because they are happy that uh, there is a young generation mm. who is doing something for the society something for the nation okay and something for the industry okay and they are happy for that okay and they support us a lot of, mm -hmm. uh, many times we observe that they guide us also Achha. that you have to do these things so that it is be better for the industry as okay. us as well as you okay so there are many customers uh, who ah. are supporting us acha and uh, but mm. one more thing is that mm. every time they want to assure that yes mm -hmm. as you are a startup you have to be mm. there with the appropriate solutions mm -hmm. appropriate outputs and the performance mm. and then that's why we are looking for the technology with the our r&d facility mm -hmm. where we do develop different products okay. and we assure them that yes this is where we can prove your product as well as process first mm -hmm. and then we go for the installations i see so by considering these all aspects they uh, enhances our supports Achha. and they guide us very well 